Thank you, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. As chairman of the Academy and on behalf of our Board of Governors, it's my sincere pleasure to welcome you to the 21st Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And to induct the performers who brought them to life, we are thrilled to have three iconic actors who knew them well. Uh, I am actually incredibly jazzed about this. Uh, please welcome the woman who played Carolyn Appleby on I Love Lucy and the boys who played Chip and Ernie on My Three Sons, Doris Singleton and Stanley and Barry Livingston. We'd go there every day for lunch and Barry and I, neither of us knew our grandfather. So Bill, you know, he was not exactly the warmest person toward kids or animals. He was kind of a W.C. Fields in his own life. And, uh, but he adopted us. For some reason, he took a liking to us and we used to go to Nicodell's every single day for lunch. So the studio finally came to me and said, look, you gotta do us a favor, kid. One o'clock, you gotta get him up and moving back towards the studio and back to the sound stage. We're never gonna get done. So I was the only person that he would listen to and uh, I could get him up no matter what kind of condition he was in, he'd make it back to the stage. It's funny too, because towards the end, he was, he was fading in his faculties and we'd shoot scenes where it, they had no choice. It was sort of, well, how do we film this with Bill? If we give him too many lines, he can't remember them. And if we give him too few, he'll fall asleep in the middle of the scene. <laughs> so one of my jobs was we would shoot the master and Bill, by this point, they would usually have him seated in the easy chair or in a chair in the kitchen. And when it came time to do Bill's close-up, everybody would be doing their lines and I'd be under the table pinching his toe to keep him awake till his line came. Um, well, there's a lot of stories about Bill Frawley and a lot of them have a lot to do with alcohol and uh, <laughs> But I, I have to tell you this other story because it's kind of heartwarming and another side to, to Bill Frawley. As I said, we bonded. Uh, he was on the show for four years and he became the grandfather that I never knew. But on my 14th birthday, by this point in time, everything had been banned from the studio for kids to do. You know, we like to ride bikes, we wanted to play ball. Well, I'd already hit a ball right through Gary Morton's office window. Baseball was banned, basketball was banned, skateboards were banned, but I got into surfing because I thought, okay, I can do this because it's at the beach. My 13th birthday rolled around and I was just so into surfing and I'd always borrow a buddy surfboard, go to the beach. And on my 13th birthday, I walked into the stage, got into makeup, walked upstairs into my dressing room and there was a nine foot Dewey Weber surfboard sitting there. And it said, happy birthday, Chip, from your Uncle Bub. I mean, can you imagine, it's not like going out what, what, this is a 70-year-old guy. You know, what was he going to do with a 13-year-old kid, give you a $20 bill or here's a card? Do you know how much trouble it is to get a nine-foot surfboard? And this guy didn't drive. Anyway, that, that's my memories of Bill. He was just the sweetest guy you ever met. <laughs> 